Hi guys, this is Travis Pope from InConnected.com. This is a bootcamp tutorial on uh, multitasking on your Xbox One. Uh, my Xbox One may look a little bit different from yours. I'm rocking the November uh, Xbox One update. Um, but be sure to check and make sure yours is up to date from the settings. So we're going to go ahead and skip that though for this. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is think about what kind of input method you want to use. So the Xbox One uses something called snap states, just like Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Snap states allow one app to go to the far right side of your screen. It's a smaller version than the typical full screen one, but usually if it's done right, then the snap version of the app has most of the same functionality. Um, Microsoft's TV app use, uses snap states in order to let you watch television while you're gaming. Xbox Music uses it so that you can stream music while you're gaming. So the first way you can do it is with the Connect 2 sensor. Chances are if you already have an Xbox One for longer than six to seven months, you have a Connect 2 sensor. So you're just gonna say Xbox Snap. Friends. And that's it. You wanna wanna pick up a controller for some of this stuff. So I'm gonna I've already got a controller in my hand. And what I want to do is to select this one and I'm going to open a different app than the one I have right there. And there you go. You can actually do this. I'm gonna wait for Internet Explorer to download there. You can actually do snap states without a sensor, but I find it to be easier and one of the bigger reasons that I have one. So Without the sensor, what you're gonna do is, gonna go to My Games and Apps. You're going to press the menu button on your controller. It's the button to the right of the glowing Xbox orb on your controller. You are, actually, YouTube is not one of those apps that you can pin. We're going to pin Skype. Yes, pin Skype. Uh, excuse me, let's try. Yeah, uh, let's see. Achievements works. I'm gonna go to achievements. Press the Axe by Sky button. Press the menu button. Snap. Now, in between, I know that's a lot of stuff. Let's see. There's another way you can do it, I believe which is to go back to the Xbox One. And first we're gonna unsnap that. I'm gonna go back to Internet Explorer. Now, double tap the glowing Xbox guy button. Oops, I did it too fast. Right, and that's gonna bring up the little snap state menu. You're going to push your left joystick up and select from the menu. You've got apps, you've got games. Now, the clear thing here is that games cannot be snapped to the side of your screen. So you cannot watch TV in the larger portion of the screen, for example, and then play a game on the right side of the screen. It does not work that way. Snap states also don't work half and half. So you can't split the screen and have an app running uh, equal. When you snap an app, all of the audio, there's an audio mixer inside the settings menu that will change the audio based on your, your settings. By default, I believe the, the percentage is 80-40. So the larger part of your screen is going to have the loudest sound. The smallest part of your screen is going to have sound, but not as high as the larger part of your screen. I'm Travis Pope for Inconnected. This has been a tutorial on multitasking and app snapping on the Xbox One. Be sure to check us out at inconnected.com. That's E-N-C-O-N-N-E-C-T-E-D for all the latest.